and action. Welcome to another exciting episode of Let's Cook with Warren. And a <laughs> shout out here to Amy F. up in Maine for sponsoring this uh, edition. She had asked for a vegetarian idea and uh, what we've got here is uh, sweet potato and white bean burrito. So let's go ahead and get into it. Bring the camera a little closer. These are uh, fresh white beans that we uh, boiled off in uh, salted water. If you'd like to, you can buy the canned stuff. Make sure you rinse the canniness off the dough. And I'm gonna suggest rinsing it under hot water, not in cold, to get the can flavor off. It's a sweet potato that we um, boiled up to a boil and then lowered it to a simmer. If you let it just boil nonstop, the sweet potato breaks, breaks open, and because it's a root, it just absorbs water and it makes your burrito kind of um, watery because it absorbs water. Anywho, so over here we have a uh, half onion and a half tomato, some sour cream, some pico de gallo, which is a fancy name for uh, tomato salsa that we made a little earlier, a lime. This is cilantro. Uh, I had a, a question come in the other day from a Joanne uh, M or L down in Florida, and she said she doesn't like cilantro. Is there a substitute for it? So actually there is. What it is, is there are some people who genetically just can't handle cilantro, so it tastes kind of soapy to them. So what I'd suggest is substituting mint for it instead. We've got a little bit of cumin, ground cumin, some uh, chopped garlic, and this is a uh, spinach tortilla. They put uh, spinach powder when they make the tortillas, which makes it this kind of spinachy kind of color, but it doesn't do a whole lot for flavor. Also yes, known too. as green. Yeah, it's like light green, gray-ish. That's not gray, but that's green. It's kind of gray. Anywho, so let's get on with it. <laughs> uh, let's turn our, our range on. So we're hotting up our pan. We're putting a little oil in our pan because I know my pan is dry. And I'm going to chop the onion. Watch this. So every onion has sort of the root end, which is where the onion attaches to itself. So we'll, we'll leave that where it is. We'll come down, we'll come across, and we'll come down again. And Emily S. up in uh, D.C. has asked to do a uh, skills video, and we haven't forgotten that yet. And we haven't done it yet either. And we'll get to it, probably. So our pans can be hot, and these are those really super thin pans, uh, like me, that I like a lot because they're so worn out, they get hot pretty quick. We're all waiting for that to get hot. We'll dice up our tomato just a little bit. And probably this is the easiest way to do this one. I do like this miyabi a lot. It's a nice knife. I'm going to just run that through. It's nice and sharp. For those of you who have watched my knife sharpening video, you'll uh, know I'll sharpen a knife now. So into here, so our pan's nice and hot. And our onion goes in. That's the sound of onion cooking. Hold that cook for a moment. And guess what? I don't know where the spoons are again. Oh, no, it has to go. And a little bit of garlic. We'll throw that in there. What else are we putting in? A little bit of cumin. Put it right in there. Push that around for a minute. And that garlic is kind of clotting up a little bit. Let's just push that up a little bit more. Smells good. And I'm going to put that into our bowl of our cooked white beans. These are the cooked ones. And actually, let's salt this a little bit too. And pepper it a little bit too. So the pepper that we have here, you might notice it's, it's white. It doesn't uh, make specks in your food. And it's a little bit um, Pleasant tasting, a little more peppery tasting than a black one. And we would actually we buy peppercorns and we grind them every day. So that's where that comes in. So we've got this here. We're going to add our tomato to it. I'm going to add our sweet potato. Out. Oh, it's hot, by the way. Um, yeah, hot potato. This part here, you might not want to try at home because my hands are just kind of used to. Ooh, that's really hot. Yes, we can tell by the yeah. steam. So what we can do here when it's too hot now is, um, and cutting these eyes out of it, then a sweet potato is a root. So what you can do is if you have a sweet potato that you kind of forgot about in the back of your 
wherever you store your seed house. You can let it keep on growing and it makes these really pretty barnets. So I digress. You don't need to see that part. So here's our sweet potato, our white bean, and our my masher. Uh, also uh, known as the spatula. Yeah, well I have a potato masher, which is what I do when I do this, you know, for the menu because we're mashing so much more. And I don't know if you all have one at home and then people write in and say, oh I don't have this at home, what should I use instead? So we're just doing right with the instead part. So we'll mush that all together. Oh, it probably needs a little more salt. Did and you wait till I got closer to walk away? Sure. Ready? <laughs> set? No, ready to that. Okay, so this is uh, cilantro. And again, if you don't like cilantro, mint's okay. And we're gonna put in a half a uh, lime. So what I'm doing is I'm rolling the lime around to help bust up the little uh, lime sacks that are inside the lime. Cellulose? So um, we're gonna cut the lime top to bottom and squeeze and turn it inside out, get all that. So let's be honest, limes are expensive, lemons are expensive, all food's expensive, but anywho. So make sure you turn it inside out and get all that money out of it. Okay, so we've got that, let me, uh, garbage can. Let's mush it up some more. So we've got that going on. Let's try it, see how we did. And I found my spoons. That's all right. Let's put this over here. So, we're gonna roll our burrito next. Oh, you know what I need? You know, can I have a plate, please? Yeah. Yeah, thanks, man. So, uh, there's our tortilla. And you can tell this makes enough for like a lot of people. And we're gonna put our uh, filling in. And ready? Thanks, man. And again, this is uh, thanks out to Amy F. up in uh, Maine for this. Do sweet potatoes grow in Maine? I know blueberries do, and regular so. potatoes do, and mooses do. But I don't know if, if sweet potatoes do. I'm sure some of So we have our stuff over here like this. We're gonna roll it over this way and kind of tuck your sides in. So if you see how I'm tucking the sides in, I'm kind of coming in this way a little bit. I'm gonna roll it. Okay, so then from here, a little sour cream and our knocked over tomato salsa or pico de gallo if we're being fancy. And there we have it. Big shout out again to Amy F. up in Bangor, Maine for her suggestion of a vegetarian entree. And uh, thank you for sponsoring. Enjoy.